What's going on, MMA fans? I'm back to do my MMA Corner number 15 video. I'm trying to get back on track with these videos. Um, if you're not familiar with the MMA Corner, the purpose of this video series is to allow you, the watcher, the subscriber, to send me suggestions, uh, topics that you want me to discuss and go over. I do that for, um, like I said, the watchers and the subscribers, you know, to be interactive, to be involved. Um, <clears throat> I have one topic from a uh, random account guy, and I'm going to go into a couple other topics. Um, and discuss them a little bit more in depth. At the end of this video, leave me some ideas, some topics for my next MMA Corner video um, that you would like me to discuss and go over, and I'll get to those. Um, <clears throat> Random Account Guy wanted me to talk about who is Anderson Silva going to fight next? Is he going to fight at light heavyweight? Is he going to fight at middleweight? Well, <clears throat> the the fight that we were supposed to see before Silva and Cote was Yushin Okami versus Anderson Silva, um, and because of Okami's hand injury, we did not get to see that. Now Okami, um, I do believe, is supposed to be fighting Dean Lister at UFC 92, um, so that kind of puts that fight at a standstill for right now. So, Anderson Silva looks like he's going to be fighting maybe another middleweight, probably not at this point because that's the guy that was supposed to be fighting. Right now we have no clear cut middleweight contender. So where are we going to see Anderson go? We're probably going to see him the light heavyweight fight for him. Who is he going to fight? Don't know. Couldn't tell you at this point. Um, there's many, many guys that could, you know, be put into that position. Um, one thing that's very interesting, and I know I talked about this in my uh, my coming back video, that Dennis Kang is now coming to the UFC. If you're not familiar with Dennis Kang, he is one of the premier, premier 185ers in the world. He is absolutely amazing. He has some of the best, um, <clears throat> well, hold on, let me rephrase this. He has one of the best top games in all of MMA. Uh, he has some very, very slick grappling, some very, very slick jiu-jitsu. Uh, he's got some good, good boxing skills. He's one of the guys that many people consider could give Anderson Silva a run for his money. So... With that coming in, and with us seeing Dennis Kang against Alan Belcher coming up here soon, Dennis Kang could sneak his way into the title picture. And that, my friends, would be a great fight. I would love to see that. So many MMA fans would love to see that. Um, so hopefully we will get to see that as a future possibility. But for right now, it looks like Anderson Silva is going to be fighting a light heavyweight um, bout. Like I said, we don't know who it's going to be, but that looks like what the picture is going to be for right now because of all of these circumstances. Um, I want to talk about Armando Garcia res uh, resigning from the California State Athletic Commission. Um, I have talked many, many times about Armando Garcia in the past. <clears throat> I've done several videos about the corruption of the California State Athletic Commission. Um, preferably, uh, I talked about Sean Shirk's situation. Um, I, like I said... And not to go open up another can of worms with that, but when it first happened, I think everyone was disappointed in Sean Shirk. I know I was personally disappointed, but the way that his case was handled, regardless of him being guilty or not guilty, was ridiculous. The way that some of these fires have been treated in those appeals processes is ridiculous. And it shows. They had at least four lawsuits against them from fighters. They had three lawsuits against them from uh, MMA organizations, and God knows how many other lawsuits. I'm just speaking off of generalities from what I've read off of um, different forums. But, you know, no surprise that Armando Garcia has stepped down even though that he said he did it because he's leaving on his own terms. Um, I really question that because even though, the, as he says, the MMA business has picked up in California, um, his reputation has gone down because of some of these things that have happened. And... Uh, hopefully, uh, someone will step in and maybe bring some more credibility uh, to that athletic commission. And this is, of course, all in my opinion. You may not agree with this, but um, that's how I feel about the California State Athletic Commission and Armando Garcia. Um, <clears throat> Kenny Florian, uh, Joe Stevenson, the winner, will get a title shot. Uh, we will not see that title shot for a while due to the fact that uh, BJ Penn and GSP will be fighting again. Um, at a later card, it's either 93 or... I think it's 93 that they're fighting on. Um, so, we won't get to see that, but uh, the winner does get a title shot. So that means that some of these guys, like Shirk that just won, some of these guys are going to be uh, piggybacking for a while um, that might be in line or might be in contention to get a title shot uh, with, you know, of course, BJ Penn fighting GSP. 
Then we move on to um, one that I wanted to talk about because this is going to be a very important fight for the heavyweight rankings, regardless of whichever way it goes. Um, and I'm not going to pick this fight because most people are going to sit there and say right away it's a foregone conclusion. You know, I, I think, yes, that's true, but you never know what's going to happen in MMA. That, that's the beauty of the sport. Uh, Fedor Emelianenko taking on Andre Orlovsky um, on uh, January 25th for the Affliction Day of Reckoning card at Anaheim at the Honda Center. Um, going to be a great fight. <clears throat> this will shape and affect the heavyweight rankings um, and definitely put some perspective into what will happen uh, in the coming months after January. Um, of course, after Arlovsky, um fights Fedor, regardless of the situation, we should see in the future a Josh Barnett, Fedor Emelianenko fight. Once that fight happens, we will really have a broad perspective of the heavyweight rankings at that point because then we will have had Fedor fight several of the heavyweight champions from the UFC, uh, let alone uh, top top ten opponents. So um, we will definitely get a, a broader perspective of those rankings. So um, that this was my uh, uh, topics for MMA Corner. Uh, leave me some comments, constructive, negative, positive, like I always say. Uh, leave me some topics for the next MMA Corner some ideas, something you wish me to talk about. And on that note, you guys, have a great day.